I'm in salad, and I saw Surf's Up. It's directed by Ash Bannon and Chris Buck, and is starring Shia LaBeouf. I like Surf's Up. I like, I've never actually been surfing, weirdly enough. I've been to Hawaii once where I was had the opportunity to learn how to surf, but I didn't want to become a penguin, so I denied it. But now, penguins are cool, and I wish I was a penguin. Learning how to surf makes you a penguin, 100% fact. When I heard Shia LaBeouf was in it, I was like, oh wow, it's Shia LaBeouf. What a guy. He taught me to just do it. Back in uh, August of 2015, I think that, that was when that meme came about. Anyway, none of these things have anything to do with the movie. So let's just get on with the review. This movie starts uh, in, in a mockumentary style, which immediately I'm like, oh, I like this angle. You get to meet this guy. He's, he's a penguin. He's, uh, he's a penguin uh, with the, the uh, yellow stripe in his hair. Uh, what is it? Club Penguin Penguin named after him. Rock Hopper. All right. Rock, it's a rock hopper penguin. Uh, is Cody. Cody he wants to surf. He's a big surfer guy. He's like, oh man, I love surfing so much. Although, I'm not a really good surfer. Uh, everyone in my family doesn't want me to surf. They're like, oh, you don't be, you can't be a surfer. <sighs> but he knows he could become a surfer because one of his idols, his one of his surfer idols, came by his place in Antarctica and gave him this this necklace very prized necklace that he loves oh so much and he wears it around all the time and he's been thinking about him ever since he came around but now he has another opportunity he now gets to have himself a competition asked by this recruitment guy cody says yes and then he goes to this island called pangu island can you guess what's on it penguins i guess you couldn't get that one and he meets a lot of people, he meets his crush, which is a different type of penguin, Gengu. Gengu penguin, it's a Gengu penguin. Cody's like, wow, I love this big Gengu penguin, right? But he also meets this really guy, this really arrogant guy, who's he's been winning for the past nine years, the surfing competition after this, this establisher of the surfing competition lost or whatever. Cody's like, oh, huh, this this big idol is dead, all right? And I gotta go against this big guy. This big guy knows how to surf more than I do. I'm a loser when it comes to surfing. And Cody kind of like gives up, right? And he's sad, he's sad. Penguin, there's a penguin guy. Penguin guy finds him. Penguin guy, he's like, what, who are you, penguin guy? And he's like, hey, actually, I, am your idol dun 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 and cody's like what i thought you were presumed dead why 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 right i, I could see the twist a little bit coming but you know let's see what goes let's see what happens the guy is presumed dead but now he's not why did he fake his death that's just what's going through my head and so it's revealed that he faked his death because he lost to the guy, the champion guy, and felt that he couldn't beat him. And I'm like, oh, come on. You, you, you're a loser, all right? You let him defeat you the year after. You might have, you might have lost, you might have lost some year, right? That doesn't mean you're prevented from losing the next year. You could work so hard and win again, but you decided to just fake your death because you felt like you couldn't win against this guy. And now, you definitely can't win against this guy now. You you cemented your fate when you gave up, all right? Like, that's how it works. Don't give up. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Fucking Shia LaBeouf words, all right? So Cody is like, has the same reaction. He's like, why is my big leader such a big loser lacry he throws his necklace man his necklace gets lost a lot and gets found a lot now we get to the day of the competition big competition day hooray i love this competition there's a lot of surfing involved there's a lot of waves there's a lot of penguins 
Uh, I like I like the colors, some of these scenes, and I especially like how how brutal the champion is. They eventually get to this part where it's like super dangerous to be, and they're just like surfing over there. They're like, "Ooh, big surfing, big surfing! I'm gonna get make you get off your board." And Sucks for you, guy. You're off your board because you tried to play dirty. Ha ha, fuck you, bitch. Sucks for you. What are you gonna do now? What sucks, though, is Cody loses. Why have a competition movie when the main character loses? But I also see the appeal of that. It's a different ending. Doesn't actually win in the end, but he gets to meet his idol and he's interviewed or whatever. I was not expecting it uh, when I was going into this movie. I was thinking, oh, he's just gonna win because that's how these movies sort of end, you know? It was a pretty decent movie. I liked the colors. Some some parts, the colors were a little bit muddy for me, but that's all right. Other than that, I did enjoy the, the frequent use of the mentor guy, the, the idol guy. Why well, just introduce him for him to not mean anything? No, he's like entirely important. And he's like Cody's mentor. And I liked that part. And for that, I gotta give this movie a good 6.5 out of 10. If you liked this review, I have more content, some daily vlogs that you'll be interested on our Patreon at patreon.com slash Presents. Until next time on Mint Salad Saw, see you later, my salad croutons, my bacon bits. <laughs>